world come round to to us and uh, get me to make hats. And of course, they they they're like a glass of champagne. They're wonderful. I think men love seeing women in hats. They look so sexy in them, and women seem to enjoy wearing them. Does hat design give you enough as a designer to go on? Is is a head enough inspiration for you? Um, a head is a, is a very good inspiration, and a beautiful body that's uh, un under the head is great. And then when the body isn't so beautiful, um, it's good for the wearer to wear a hat. And it's very exciting for me as a challenge to be able to make somebody feel very beautiful. But I do design a lot of other things. I do a lot of other work in the design field. Field. But it seems to be that the hats is the thing for which I'm remembered and which uh, they're in a lot of museums around the world now, like the uh, Metropolitan Museum in New York, in uh, the Musée de l'Art Décoratif in Paris. I was there only uh, last week. You've brought some hats with you today. Now, you've used an Easter theme, logically, for that, the Easter bunnet. Um, yeah, well, I, I thought everyone might, might like to see some sort of Easter, Easter type hats. And this first one is the, the traditional British uh, garden party hat. Well, let's take an a, Easter bonnet. a trot across and, and have a look. I think you can imagine it's really quite nice in there. I think she looks lovely in it. You're but, not going to stand next to But it is. No, I, listen, I'm not. I'm at least a foot shorter and 19 stone heavier. I'm, I'm lucky. <laughs> um, all but that's, that is quite traditional, though. That's not... Very traditional, but it's something that uh, David Chilling... Uh, we're well known for doing this sort of hat because it makes women look wonderful and, and feel good, feel very feminine. It's to be looked at, that hat, isn't it? So that's you a... Wear that to, what, what would you wear to that to? Would it, a wedding, something um, like that? To weddings, maybe your own wedding, maybe your own second wedding or third wedding. <laughs> if your husband won't pay for the, this hat, you divorce him and you wear this for your second wedding. Wonderful. This is tremendous. But this it's not is, wearable. Nobody is... could wear the hat. Well, she's wearing it. She looks great. <laughs> yes, <it>? but she's <laughs> she's hardly typical of I don't know. Uh... Would any of you ladies out there wear this hat? <laughs> One or two. I don't know. Um, it, it, does it molt a lot? I, I hope not. Um, I just thought that... Uh... <laughs> You have got two eyes, I assume. Blinded <laughs> <laughs> one. Uh, chicken uh, Easter eggs are, are, are what uh, are the traditional Christmas uh, Easter gift, and uh, I thought maybe instead of giving Easter eggs, uh, you give the chicken feathers, which of course are not endangered species, and then uh, nobody die, no animals die to give up their feathers. Right. Would you would so you wear green. something that was made of fur these days? Do models wear fur willingly? I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't personally. But there's no need now. There's such good fake furs around. Right, right. Great. OK, thank you very much for modelling that uh, weird and wonderful... Oh, here's another weird and wonderful creation. Well, what gave you the inspiration for this? Again, I mean, I chose this on the Easter theme because it looks a little bit the shape like a cracked egg. Um, these little indentations and uh, again chicken feathers and um, some pheasant feathers up there. Wonderful. And the silk is actually hand painted by me.